Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to Kingdom Come Deliverance. So here we are. Uh, well, we're in a camp. We're camp we're overlooking Talmberg because that nasty is uh, is Van Toth. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. He is. He, he's taken over Talmberg. He he's uh, usurped. He's got hostages. He's got Radzig, who's Henry's father apparently, and uh, Lady Stephanie. And so yeah, Lord Divish is beside himself. Uh, we are currently, let's take a look at the situation. We are currently in the siege main quest line. Uh, Sir Divish and Master Fafar uh, now have at their disposal the best engineer in the kingdom. Uh, it, yeah, that's Brian, apparently. Uh, and I was mispronouncing his last name. Blessed. That's how you, it's you two syllables, blessed. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> uh, that's the the actor. Yeah, he's a really cool dude. Actually, he uh, he was in, as I say, Black Adder, but um, and many other things, by the way. Uh, if not in the whole empire, the trebuchet should be built in a few days. So we've got a bit of time between now and then. Uh, and this is the gentleman in question here. Uh, let's let's have a chat with him. Greetings. What Whoa. business have you? Y you see what I mean? <laughs> he's got like the most amazing voice. All right. How do you like it here, Master Keezer? It's quite satisfactory. Indeed, it's more than satisfactory. I have to commend Master Fafar for his diligent supervision of the construction work. His extensive knowledge of mechanics is proving most useful. He has the makings of quite a competent siege master. I don't think he's yearning to become one. His life's mission has been to manage the mines. <laughs> we'll see if he feels the same after he has a crack at firing our trebuchet. It's a sight to knock the wind out of any man, especially if he's standing too close. <laughs> well, there you go. Maybe uh, maybe Master Fafar will be uh, uh, sort of, you know, brought over to the dark side. Here, let's, have, let's see what he has to say. God be with you, lad. What can I do for you? Um, how's the construction going? Master Fafar, how's the trebuchet construction going? Much better now that I have Master Keezer to help me. Although, to be quite honest, it's more a case of me helping him. I'm taking note and learning as I go. Cool. Next time round, you'll be the siege master. I rather hope they won't be here next time. Uh, that's a fair thing. That's a fair thing. Um, how much longer will how it take? How much longer do you think it will take? I wouldn't like to hazard a guess. As I understand it, the base is quick to make, but the other parts are more complicated. And then there's all the balancing and setting the trajectory and range. I see. Well, I hope it's ready soon. So do I, Henry. All right. Well, there we go. We had a little chat with Master Goodbye. Fafar. Um, in the meantime, we do have something that we do need. We need to take care of. So let's see. Pebbles, Pebbles, and where's where is my uh, noble my noble uh, friend? Where's Mutt? Mutt, where are you? Ah, oh, there you are. Uh, who's a good, good boy? Fella. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's my boy. <laughs> he always he always has that look like uh man this this guy's nuts. <laughs> Let's give him look some what food. I've got for you. Uh by the way, I just You'll love this. I just remembered something, so we're gonna take care of that in a minute. And we have oh no, I'm not gonna give him bad sausages. We're gonna give him a little bit of the dried meat, some that's right. Jerky treats. He he loves his jerky treats. Hell, I eat the jerky treats. I really don't have a worry, problem with that. Um, I'm still good food-wise, so I'm not going to do anything. But I do need to sort out my armor situation. Um, dark combat jacket, spurs. Not We're not going to go with that helmet. We're going to take that off, actually. Um, you, you, and also the red hose. That, that. Um, do I need padded chasses? Sure, why not? Um, and then that and that. Now, what am I missing? Where's my helmet? Oh, there it is. Okay, right. Because I accidentally put on... That's why I put that on and I didn't want to. There we go. I think we're... It's all complete. Um, I might be a little filthy, though. I, I Before I logged in, I had... Um, oh, here we are. I did chat with somebody and they and they uh, they mentioned how disgusting and weird I looked, so... Uh, well, dirty. I think it was... They said they, that I was assaulted. <laughs> you know how it goes. Uh, so we have... Uh, we do have... The uh, getting the uh, brewed potion from the herb woman. So we're going to go out to C, and C is out in the. It's right out here. We actually have a pretty good idea of where it is. I'm just going to head. Well, we know generally where it is. We're just going to go like 
that way and then go along there. So it'll be fine. All right, let's go. Let's go get the the the, the um. It's the quicker picker up. No, it's it's what it is. It's 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 kind of medieval as as has been described. Medieval Red Bull. You know, we were worried about food. There's like cows yeah. everywhere. Uh, that's not exactly what I would call a worry. Okay, am I gonna end up in trouble here? What am I? I I have um on occasion almost. Uh oh 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 oh. Oh, what time is it by the way? Okay, it's eight in the morning. So we do have all day today. So good. I was. It was starting to. I don't know. I had that. Yeah. The dimness of uh, of either morning or evening, and I didn't know what it was. Uh, oh, yep. Yeah, we want to go this way. Turn right. And we're gonna go and talk to the herb woman. And and get the the. Uh, it's. I believe it's gonna be the the stuff I learned how to make in the monastery. It's a uh, cockerel or something like that. Uh, but that's okay. We'll, we'll find out. We'll find out. All right. <clears throat> Why, hello. Good health to you. Oh, thank you. Uh, have you brewed it? So, is the concoction ready? All done. Here, take the keg. Keg. I won't be lugging a heavy great thing like that around myself. I would, thank you for your help. I wouldn't expect you to. Well, best of luck, lad. Now. I need a rest. And you, you know what? You've earned it. You're, you, you were. Look at the size of that mug. It's as big as her head. Oh, okay, that's awesome. I do enjoy a nice big mug like that. That's great. That is. Uh, it has to be filled with. Well, okay. I'm, all right, a little, little insight. It has to be filled with coffee. I do love my coffee. Okay, now, um, we're gonna go. Oh, uh, take the potion back to the encampment. So, which encampment is it, though? That's the the question so a is yeah i thought so it's down at the quarry right so we're gonna head down to the quarry that's pretty easy to do we yeah. just sort of go along here now i could fast travel but honestly um i'd have to go all the way back to tamburg and then backtrack to the quarry and it, this the distances aren't really that far so this isn't a big deal do 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 um yeah, yeah, I think this is, this is, I think, the right way we want to go. I think we'll do it this way. Now, we need to turn right at some point. It is a bit dodgy around here. There's, like, cliffs and stuff, so we do have to be somewhat careful. But there is a... Well, we could maybe go down here. Yeah. And then, is there a... Is there a... Ah! Uh-oh. There we go! Oh, Pebbles the Wonder Horse. See, this is... Yeah. For you Pebbles naysayers... Look at how wonderful Pebbles is. She's amazing. Or he's amazing. Yeah, I know. I, I, I keep making that mistake. I'm pretty sure... Uh, no, well, let's not worry about it. I think we want to talk to, to Captain Bernard. Hello! What do you need? No, it's what you need, my friend. This will keep them on. This ought to help with your sleepy soldiers. What's in it? It stinks to hell. Yes, and it's hellish potent, too. A drop in the evening, and you won't fall asleep till just before noon. Really? I hope it does the job, and that it doesn't give them a runs in the process. Hopefully not. But if it does, well, it's hard to sleep with the runs, isn't it? Oh, true good enough. grief. <laughs> you're not much good as a guard when you're squatting in the bushes. That's true. Oh, 650. Wow, you know, I'm really making some coin. What do you think of Master Keezer? What is your impression of Master Keezer? Sir Hanush thinks he's insane. As crazed as one of those dung-smeared fools reciting the New Testament backwards in the street. But what do you think? Sometimes I think a little craziness is no bad thing. That's Master true. Master Keezer's seen and lived through a lot in his time in foreign lands. And those rockets he was talking about. It all sounds like the babbling of a madman. No. Maybe. And I'd like to see them. Shooting off. Screaming through the sky like comets. I'm sure they'd be a sight to behold. Oh, yeah. Uh, we don't need any training. All right. Well, there we go. Now, I don't think... Is there anything else that we, he needs? No, it's just tr no. Tr okay, okay, just making sure. Now, um, we've got our quartermaster, which we can't even talk to, so he doesn't need anything. So he's in good shape. Uh, the reason why, uh, yeah. So, you know, it's uh, like a yeah. lot of scientists or engineers or what, like accomplished characters of of that sort. Um, you get a lot of uh, there's a there's a little bit of crazy mixed in with the with the genius, so <laughs> it's a sign. Um, all right, now um, 
let's take a look at where we are. So we have to wait till the trebuchet is finished. Now, what I think I'm going to do is maybe go around and see if anything else needs to be done. Because I'd, I'll be honest with you, I'm not really interested in just hanging around until the trebuchet is done. So I figured maybe, here, let's just do this. Let's go up to, I think that's Sir Divish's camp up that way, isn't it? Let's go and talk to Sir Divish. Oh, hey, who's that? Oh, it's Hanush! Hey, um... Uh... Well, he's riding a horse. I can't really talk to him. Well, I was going to ask Hanush um, how he was doing as well. I think he's going to the... Uh, oops, nope, I'm going to go this way. I think he's going to the uh, the, 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 um, the quarry camp. So uh, that's probably a good idea. Now, this is where uh, Divish is. Let's have a chat with Divish. See if we can help him in any other way. Because I like Divish. Greetings. What do you need? It's not about... You know, they always ask me about what I need. It's about what you need. Okay. Uh, oh, did I not tell him? Oh, I've arranged for... Oh. How do you like Master Keezer, Sir Divis? How do I like him? As if it's not enough to hurl giant boulders at my castle, he wants to throw kegs of gunpowder. I understand. But he has to do something. Those boulders could hit my wife. And if they don't get her, the gunpowder could burn her to death along with Sir Radzik. Yeah. I know. I'm sorry. I know how you feel. I feel much the same. When we're done, what state will my castle be in? What will I do if the worst happens? What? Ah, enough of that. Better to spend my time in prayer than worry. I've arranged for... Did I not tell him about this? I guess I didn't. I got... There's too many things going on. I've arranged for a priest to come. He promised to take care of the people around here. Thank you, Henry. Lifting the spirit can help us all. All right. And a field surgeon. Oh, that Nicodemus. I got hold of a sawbones to take care of our wounded. Thank you. Most of them have already lost their homes. Their lives are all they have left. Take care. All right. So it looks like we don't have... Oh. Can I actually talk to him again? No. It looks like there's no more... No further dialogues. Hey, it's Hans. God be with you, lad. What can I do for Dude, you? Dude, can you take a bath? What do you think of Master Keezer? I've already asked him to stay on here when this is over. His ideas are incredible, even that trebuchet. I can't wait to launch it. Sounds like you're sorry not to be the siege master. Who knows? I may still get a chance. Um. Oh, well, okay, we'll give it a shot. Are you wishing you'd stayed home at Ratai instead of joining in our nighttime venture? <laughs> you must be joking. I haven't had so much fun since uh, actually ever. <laughs> really? Yeah, you despite bored. being wounded. Actually, you missed the best part. When I was hauling you like a sack of grain to the battlements dead to the world. <laughs> it can't have been that much fun if I fell asleep. No. But you might have handled me a bit more gently. I'm black and blue all over. He was whining. Oh, all right then. Next time I'll just leave you to Istvan's tender mercies. Nonsense. What would you do without me? Still, thank you for hauling me out of there. Anything for you, my lord. See you later. You're welcome, Hans. You're welcome. There's not enough of us for that. And we can't starve them out. Oh, yeah. They, 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 there's a dialogue that goes on between some of the soldiers talking about whether we should rush the place or not. All right. So before we head out, okay. Sir Divish, we've, we've taken care of. We've, we've talked to Hans. Yeah. I think what we'll do is we'll, uh, uh, let me see. We, we, I'd like to talk to Hanush, maybe see if he has any ideas of what we can do. Although, you know who I should really speak to is uh, yeah. Robard. Robard and Bernard. Maybe. I think we've already... You know, I'll be honest with you, I tend to get Robard and Bernard mixed up. <laughs> yeah. But uh, let's just head back to the quarry again and see how things are going. Can we... Is the actual trebuchet being constructed somewhere? Oh, Okay, so I think that the fact that Hanush is... I can't talk. Hey, Henry's come to see us. Yes, I... Oh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay. Yeah, okay, so we can't talk to Hanush. That makes sense. So he's on a circuit in the game. He's just basically riding between the... Play yeah, that's pretty cool. Keeps, keeps some activity, a little bit of uh, action going. 
Uh, oh, nope. Okay, no, that maybe we shouldn't go that way. Maybe we'll go this way. Now, I don't think there's a lot going on in here. And there, I believe um, some of them are over here. Um, that's a guard. No. All right, well... I think then basically what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to go and talk to uh, the other. Well, it's, I don't know what you, yeah. <laughs> what they're called. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, that was a guard. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Robard. We have to talk to Robard and Bernard. I, and as I say, I tend, I'll, I, I, I mean, I admit it. I get them mixed up. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> do, 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 do. But I do want to see that trebuchet. Where is it? Oh, there's a nice horse there. So whose horse is that? I think Pebbles is more awesomer, but... No, okay. All right, let's see if we can find... Uh... Okay, we've got... Yeah, we've got Master Fayfar, whom we could talk to, but... Oh, here! Down here, down here. Robard. Yeah, Robard. Here we go. Once I see them, I do. I know. Um, what do you think of Master Kizer? He definitely knows what he's doing. And all that wild talk of his rockets and such like. I'd almost let him try it out, but on some other castle. Do you think there's any truth in it? I've never seen such weapons used, so I can't really judge. But if his ideas worked, they'd change the way we make war. He showed me some of the drawings he has with him. I don't know if he's a genius or a madman. Okay, well, it looks like there's nothing we can do for him as well. Well, that's interesting. The only thing... Oh, also, I was not able to figure out where Fafar's chest is. I kind of poked around and stuff, but I have no idea. Now, whose horse is that? Oh, it's Robard's horse. I don't want to steal Robard's horse. He's a, I like Robard. He's cool. Everybody's having their naps. Okay, this is an... Oh, unlock. Oh, I think this must be it because I have a key. All right. I don't need an Italian bassinet. And, you know, maybe I'll grab the gauntlets, though. Yeah, I'll grab the gauntlets. I don't need the Italian bassinet. Let's take a look and see uh, if they're any better than what I have. The Madberg. Okay, so that, that would be on my arm or visibility and noise is worse. Interesting. And... What am I using right now? Oh, oh, it's right here. Lords of Lipa. So they're identical, except that they're worse for visibility and noise. So really, what I've got is actually really good. Is quite good. Okay, well, I'll move that to the horse. I'll, I'll have them as spares. I think that's a good idea. All right, that's fine. So I guess what I need to do is basically try to figure out... Well, let's see if Master Fafar has... Is it the same? Uh, how's the work going with Master? How's work going with Kaiser? Master Keezer? Yeah, yeah. Excellent. His knowledge of machinery and mechanics is absolutely astonishing. He's a very gifted man. So you're confident the trebuchet will do its job? Absolutely. It's plain to see Master Keezer knows exactly what he's doing. All right, there we go. Okay, so that's a little bit. Now, let's just review. I know this is a bit interesting, but we're, we're waiting. Vengeance, Madonna of Sassau, Ruin. Do me a favor. I guess we're just going to wait. Wait until the, uh, the the trebuchet is finished. I'm actually kind of surprised by that. So, all right, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to just, uh, yeah, we're going to just hang out here, and I'll be back. Welcome. Uh -huh. God bless you. Oh. What troubles you? Uh, oh. I met the parish priest in Ujits? Sir, I met the parish priest of Ujits, and I must say he's a very interesting man. I should say so. Have you ever seen him at swordplay? I've seen him practice. Not bad for a man of the cloth, is he? Rumor has it, when he finished his studies at the university where his father sent him, he decided the religious life wasn't for him and vanished to foreign parts. Really? They say he made a living as a mercenary. I even heard he fought against the Turk at the Battle of Kosovo. And then he suddenly came back and settled down here. No doubt it cost his family plenty, but he's a fair man and I'm fond of him. There's a lot to be said for a priest with a good understanding of vice. 
<laughs> Take care. All right, so there you go. I learned about the Battle of Kosovo. Okay, well, I can't find... Uh, yeah, I... Yeah, there's not really much going on. So, yeah, um, again, I just thought I'd, you know, I bumped into Hanush. I'd, I'd, I'd talk to him. All right, uh, I'll be back again. Oh, look at this. So I basically just, uh, I've been waiting. <laughs> it's not very exciting. I've ridden around to the other camps and just to check out what's going on. And then I, I sort of just was hanging out over there looking at Talmberg and I just hit wait. And then look, look, there's progress. The trebuchet is starting to become very trebuchet-ish very you know it's got like pieces and parts and things that do stuff like this looks like the sled part or the winch yeah there's the little pulley thing oh, it's very cool oh let's ask uh, master F let's see if Fafar has anything god bless you ah, well what thank you. you oh no I, I nope okay we're good <laughs> we don't need anything more from him but um yeah I just thought I'd bring you back briefly so that we could I could show you that there's been a bit of progress here it's it's a bit slow going. <laughs> I still haven't found. Let's see. I found Sir Robard down here, because he's pretty consistently down in this location, right there. And I don't think he has anything new for me. I'm doing fine. Um, yeah, he doesn't have anything new for me. I uh, there's nothing I can do. I'm I am superfluous. Henry is superfluous. He, he I think what happened is I might have done all the little things that I needed to do fairly quickly. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm going to just, uh, yeah, we're going to continue hanging out. I think, uh, you know, this is really cool progress. Look at that. All right. Oh, oh, it says wait, objective complete. Wait till. <gasps> oh, my goodness. I just got on the horse. I looked. It wasn't like this. It was. Oh, oh, go and watch the trebuchet test. Uh, I'm here. I'm ready for it. You know, Sir Sir Robard, if you sit there, you might get hit by shrapnel or pieces that end up flying. Oh, this is very exciting. Oh, you know, uh, Pebbles, you're kind of in the, uh, yeah, this is the, the, the these things are kind of dangerous. So I think maybe it's best if, if you and I sort of uh, found a, went over here where it's a little safer. Here, how about over here? This is probably a good spot. Oh, there's, oh, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh. Okay, so it uses... A, look at that. It's got a big counterbalance. There's me! And Fafar and... Oh, everybody's here. Except... Except dear old dad and, and lady now, Stephanie. Let's see how strong those walls are. <laughs> Look at Diva. She's like, oh, for crying out loud. Let it rip! Let it rip. Oh. <laughs> Fell short? Fell short. Okay. Well, no. It's a test. Uh, that was just the first shot. The trebuchet has to be calibrated. That's perfectly normal. <laughs> I'll have the range in no time. <laughs> Oops, that's all right. You know, for like, uh, I mean, that was the first. He was right. That's the first shot. Oh, oh, oh. What's going on? Move, move! God damn it! I have to get to Sir Divish. Sir, they're coming. There's no time. Someone bring water. Breathe, man. You'll be all right. Who's coming? There's an army on the way. Oh, no. And they're carrying the colors of Havel Medic, of Valdek. And they're very close. Havel Medic? He's surely not coming to help us. Not that bastard. I have a score to settle with him. Oh, oh, oh. oh okay. All right. So it seems like after a little bit, it's hurry up and wait. So we've got a little action now. Oh, that's it. Get rid of those cups. Viciously. Okay. Gentlemen, Toth's reinforcements are about to descend on us. That swine. How many men? We don't know exactly, but there are many, and they will probably be here by dawn. So soon? How is it that we knew nothing about this before? The whole land is in chaos. It's a wonder we can find out anything at all. If they attack from the rear... We'd be finished, just as Toth has been planning. The sneaky weasel. 
He's been one step ahead of us the whole time. Not this time, though. What are you thinking? Robard, how do you think the weather will be tomorrow? Uh, well, sir, uh, if my joints don't deceive me, and they rarely do, it'll rain. It'll rain buckets. Oh. Here. We'll make a stand here, I and Radzig's men. You will wait until they charge us, and then strike them from the rear. Here and here. If we succeed, we'll have it over and done with before they notice anything in Townburg. It might just work. But we'll have to leave someone in the encampments in case they do come out of Talberg. A few men will be all I need. Well, that depends on whether you can hold out. We don't even know how many there are. We will hold out. I'll give the orders to my men. We will be ready. Cold. My part in the battle, sir. Oh. I George. wanted to go with the Scallets, man. I need more than that from you. Okay. More, sir. If we can't hold out at the quarry, we're finished. You, I, Hanish, and Radzik. And since Hanish is commanding the flank attack, Radzik is captive and I'm wounded, Captain Robard will be leading on the field. Of course. Who better? There's no question Robard's a good commander. But many of the men will be from Scallets. We need someone there who knows them and has their respect. Sir? That's you, Henry. I mean you, Henry. But that is... Sir, do you really think I'm someone the men could look up to? Henry, if it weren't for you, we wouldn't even be here today. And everyone knows that. Except you, it seems. In the battle, you and a group of Scarlet's men will be concealed in the woods over the road. But, sir, I think I should... Quiet! Don't underestimate the task I'm setting you. You'll have to keep nervous men on a short reign and not attack too soon. And then conduct the attack on the rear so fiercely and quickly that the foe has no chance to react. If the line should start to break, we need someone with their head firmly on their shoulders to keep control of the men. Hmm. Very well, sir. That's what I like to hear. When you're ready, go and join the Scallet's men. They'll be mustering in the woods above the road to Rete. All right. Well, we have our marching orders. Um, oh, how do I get out of here? <laughs> Apparently, oh, okay. If you thought you'd be spending the whole siege sitting on your horses, playing dice and swilling ale, you were sadly mistaken. That's right. Have a medic is bearing down on us with his band of goat fuckers. <laughs> And if there's one thing we pride ourselves on in Talmberg, is that we defend the <laughs> honor of our goats. <laughs> oh, that's priceless. Ah, I love it. <laughs> oh, that was good. <laughs> All right. Now, hang on. Let's take a look and see what the uh, situation is. Cold steel, hot blood. Uh, a messenger galloped into Talmberg with a report that Istvan's reinforcements are approaching. A battle seems inevitable. I'm not, still not sure whether I'm really so indispensable or Sir Divish just doesn't want to have to tell Sir Radzik his son was killed. Whatever the reason, Sir Divish urged me to keep back from the front line in battle. No, I think his logic was actually very sound. Um, the battle is about to begin. I'd better have something to eat and sleep while I can. God knows when I'll have another opportunity. So I have actually felt fairly well rested, but mostly because I spent, I don't know how long, sitting on my... Um, my uh, my uh, tush, uh, so to speak. Uh, when you're ready, go to the battleground. Now let's take a look at where that is. So it's uh, never it's a Q no X. There we go. Oh, up there. Oh, I see. There, this is the, this is a choke point. That's actually really good. Yeah. Okay, I can see the logic in this. I can see it. All right, well, let's take a look at my situation. I am currently uh, health 100, energy 96, nourishment 86. I have a horse and a, and a mighty dog and uh, food on me. So I think uh, I think we can just go down there right now. Okay, there we go. Yeah. Don't worry, Divish, I got this. I got this. Me and Pebbles, yeah. Pebbles the Wonder Horse. 
so yeah, apparently he said the men will be skittish, so I have to keep them uh, relatively calm. So that's kind of cool. I can do yeah. Well, and uh, and also to not attack too soon. Okay, so this this has kind of gotten very complicated. I'm gonna have to um, I'm gonna have to keep a very close eye on the 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 little the prompts to make sure I fully understand what it is that I'm doing because it sounded like it was a very specific set of um, instructions and uh, I mean I may be I may be playing Hen well Henry but I am not Henry and he would have a much better idea as to what okay what, are we near there yet wow this is quite the oh here we are hey guys how you doing oh I didn't put pebbles away. Okay, what's going on? I get the... A little longer. Oh, 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 there they are. Not yet. I'm standing up. Shouldn't I be crouched? Easy. Easy. There's a lot. Oh, oh. Stay calm, fellas. Easy. Damn it! They were expecting us. First troops to the bridge. Oh Break oh through. God. Vanguard to the left, and the rest come with me. We'll fight the oh, bastards. Ah, them. Charge! Ride those horses into the dirt! I should have taken my stuff! Okay, I'm a little bit too deep here. Let's see if I can... Okay. Oh, 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 back off, back off, back off. Okay, stabby, stabby, stabby. Oh, 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 oh. Come on, let's go. No, 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 okay. These guys know what they're doing. Here, I'm gonna stab, stab. I should be paying more attention to my stamina, but I'm not. There we go. Okay, okay, okay. Oh wow, these guys are tough. Okay, okay, okay. Back off, back off, back off. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, he's down. He's down. Okay. Yes. 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 Okay. Is there any more? Oh, oh, there's more. There's more. Oh, oh, there's one. There's one. Oh, no. That's Divish. Don't stab Divish. Oh, I feel like I'm in, uh, I'm really sluggish. It's weird. I don't know what's going on here, but... Come back here. Where? Okay. Where'd he go? Oh, we did it. We did it. We defended the Ford. That was very strange. It felt... Oh, what? What's going on? That's us. You see how valiant we are? Oh, he, they pushed through. To the bridge. We have to help them. Help Sir Hanush. Oh. Okay. All right, let's see. Yes! S step! No, okay. No, no. Ah, that's it. Down you go, buddy. Okay. All right, let's go. Let's go. Okay. I, I gotta get behind them so they can find a an opponent. Oh, no, okay. Uh, did, we, did we succeed? It's chaos. War is hell. <laughs> oh, yeah, look at that. Ah, victorious.
is their leader. <gasps> it's Eric. What? This boy. Yep. You should show a little more respect, Divish. You'll need it when you kneel before Istvan. Oh, <laughs> now the pup shows his teeth. Hmm. Istvan, you say? Not Sir Istvan? Or Lord Toth? That's a good point. Just how intimate are the two of you? I know him. He's Eric, Toth's captain and right hand man. Finally, some good news. Shackle him and guard him closely. Beat him with a wet noodle. What? Those bastards want to destroy our trebuchet. Oh, we gotta run. Oh, wait, 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 where's Pebbles? Okay, it's a cutscene, so I was I was all excited, but no. Cold Oh, we finished cold steel and hot blood. Okay, so what are we doing? We're running. Okay. Family values. Maybe that has to do with uh you know what? I'm gonna put my sword away, because you know. Go quickly and help defend the trebuchet. You know what I'm gonna do? Hang on a sec. Hang on a sec. Hang on a sec. I have uh, I'm, I need some, uh, I need some assistance. No, 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 no. You, hey, you put Marigold decoction on your weapon so that when you, when you hit them, it heals them a little bit. <laughs> That's actually quite awesome. Uh, no, I'm not doing that. Uh, eat. Okay, that should give me a bit of a, an oomph. What, what is my situation? Health is no, okay. Nourishment, good. All right, we're good. Let's go. Run, run, run. Where is everybody else? Okay. Oh, there's Divish. Okay. Do, 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 do. You know, I could pick some mint. No. Okay. It would look bad. I don't think that would be... Uh, they wouldn't appreciate me to stop... Uh, me stopping and picking uh, herbs on the way to defend the trebuchet. But I run so much faster than you guys. <laughs> I'm not even running. I'm just sort of... This is my walking pace. This is my running pace. <laughs> Okay. Do, do, do. Oh, there's Nush. Okay. You know, I, I have to say, I definitely respect the fact that these leaders, like Nush and Divish and all them, all the like, they all, they fight with their men. That's, you know, that that's how you earn respect, right? That's how, uh, you know. Oh, well, okay. Let's keep going. Do, 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 do. Should we have a... Oh, I could tackle him. Apparently, it says tackle. <laughs> I don't think that would go well. Oh, I didn't... You know what I didn't notice was that we are still in uh, a battle state. You see the, the two silver swords or silver knives? They're, but they're not crossed, meaning we're hunted or, you know, about to be or in sort of peripherally in battle, but not actually in battle. So that's kind of interesting. Okay, let's just keep going. Oh, who's that? Who's that up ahead? Yes! People to kill! Oh, he's dead! Yes! Come on, guys, kill him! There's one right there. Let's see if I can get over here and get him. Oh, there he is! Okay, he's dead. He's dead. All right, good, good, good. Oh, we all have our sword. Okay, good. We're heavily armed. Oh, I think... Hang on a sec. Hang on a sec. Hang on a sec. Okay, let's double check. Go to the trebuchet. All right, so one team is going down to the village. That's right. That was part of the plan. And we're going to go up and defend the trebuchet. Okay. And I got my sword. Yes. And my health is good. Excellent. Excellent. You know what I could do? While we're not uh, quite in, in a fight yet, I am going to... Uh, we're going to we're gonna rage up. And we're going to... Embroke. Did I not, I not eat it? I don't think I did. Okay. And then we're going to... Oh, do I not have any more... Uh, is it Buck's Blood? Buck's Blood. Sure. Good enough. Oh! Oh, that's, that's, okay, I think something that I took has made me a bit wonky. I'm, I'm hearing weird things. Oh, that's okay. 
I'm battle ready. <laughs> oh, maybe that's just the music. Oh, there's the trebuchet. Where are we going, guys? Where are we going? We almost have them! Finish them off! Where are they? There they are, there! Oh! That's it! Die! Yeah! There's nowhere to hide! Yeah! Dead! Yes! You! Don't touch our trebuchet! Do you know what I had to do to get that here? Oh, we've got him? Is that it? What are you guys? Oh, you're just guard. Oh, you're guards. Oh, no, there's more! Okay, hang on. No, no, you're not. You're, oh, you're a bad guy. Ah, ah, I should have known you're wearing black. Ow. <laughs> oh, really? Ow. Okay, okay. Oh, you're actually not bad. Oh, got him. Here, insurance swing. All right. Is there more? Oh, no, it's one of the good guys. Oh, man. You! Come here! You killed one of ours! No! You! You die! Yeah! Oh, oh, oh! I better get my stamina back. Okay. I think it was the Aqua Vitalis I was supposed to take. <laughs> there we go! Oh! Nice. Oh, hey! We got money? Seriously? Oh! Oh yeah! Oh, ho, ho. good for him! Look at that, victorious! Woo. <laughs> That's right, undamaged. Well, uh, the damage isn't too serious. So we can shoot. Not just yet. Sir, what are we waiting for? You've heard his threats, Robard. Do you want him to kill Radzik and my wife? We have to consider all our options. And it would be a shame to destroy the castle, too. But how do we get that rat out of there? Sir, I might have a solution. What about exchanging hostages? He was the captain at Vranjik, and he brought Istvan's reinforcements here. Seems to be on very, um intimate terms with Toth. He might be able to tell us something. And he might even be as valuable to his lord as Lady Stephanie and my father are to us. <laughs> You're your father's son, by God. You're a godsend, lad. You're right. We'll interrogate this whore, son, and then decide what to do next. Come to my tent when you've rested. All right. Um, oh, I got my sword out. <laughs> well, there you go. Um, let's see. Let's take a look at uh, what the situation is. Let's, let's just check what, what's going on. So I want to go like this. Um, so Isvan didn't, want, uh, didn't wait for the outcome of the skirmish, but took advantage of our departure and attacked the few men left guarding the trebuchet. But we fought off the attack. The trebuchet still stood, and Isvan lost even more men. Yes, he did. I killed a bunch of them myself. We escaped misfortune and defeat by a hair's breadth. But what now? Are we going to continue with the siege or the uh, or or attack? Uh, I must ask about it. So we're going to join. This is family values. And uh, I guess what we need to do is come in here. Start talking or make your peace with God. Do uh your worst. I won't betray my lord. Ah, Henry! Hello! Just the man I want. This fool would rather hang than sing. You know more about him than we do, so maybe you can get something out of him. All right. I'll see what I can do. Well now, Eric. It is Eric, isn't it? Looks like the boot's on the other foot this time, doesn't it? Oh, don't Fuck be... you. <laughs> you need to change your tone. If you start being nice, you might just come out of this alive. 
So now I'll ask you a few questions, and you'd better think carefully about how you answer them. Hmm. Okay, well, I, I massively overpower him in almost everything, even... Ev okay. Who is Toth? Who is this Toth? He's an orphan, same as me. The Turks killed his parents, so he started killing Turks. Sigismund needed men like that, so Ishtavan ended up in his service. Okay. And how did you meet him? Yeah, let's see if we can figure out a little more about his uh, reputation, uh, his re uh, relationship. How did you meet him? He killed my parents. Uh... What? Toth killed your parents? What? You could never understand. They were weak. Ishtavan strong. Oh, jeez. He took better care of me than any father. Okay, what are you after? What is he after? Are you really that clueless? To destroy Wenceslas' allies. You. Okay, who does he work for? We know it's Sigismund. Who but... does he take his orders from? Are you stupid? He works for Sigismund. Uh, how many men has he got in the castle? How many men does he have in the castle? How should I know? There were nearly 70 of us at the beginning. But there's probably not even half left. But that's still more than there ever were in that castle. More than enough to defend it. Hmm. Um. We'll exchange you for the hostages. Listen to me. Toth has hostages in the castle, and we have you. So, how about an exchange? Do you take him for a fool? Do you really think he'd give up the only thing he has that stops you from attacking? He'll never accept an exchange. You better pray he will, for your own sake. Because once we attack, you'll be worthless to us. And what do you suppose will happen to a worthless bandit? Uh, well, we have a trebuchet outside. We could put him in the basket and fire him over the fence. <laughs> I won't waste any more time on you. You could have saved yourself, but apparently you value your master's skin more than your own. I don't need to save myself. Ishtavan will save me. And he'll kill every last one of you. Why should he save you? He'll sacrifice you, just like everyone in Vranik and Pribislavitz. You're nothing but a common bandit. You That's don't know it. Any Undermine him. He'll come for me, and anyone who lays a finger on me will pay dearly. Now I'm curious. Why would he care that much about you? Could it be your lovers? You'd never understand. For a while there, I thought we'd get nothing out of him. But in the end, he spilled his guts. I thought you were much too easy on him. But it seems your approach was the right one. Well done, lad. All right. I Apparently anyway, we did it's something. it's clear that young fellow is no ordinary brigand. And he believes Toth cares about him. Yeah. We'll just have to see if the bastard cares as much about him as Divish does about his wife and you about your father. Okay. I keep making money from this. <laughs> That's weird. Well, Divish... I think the time has come to find out just how much Toth values our hostage. Do you want to parley with him yourself? I think I'll leave that to you, Hamas. So be it. I'll do my utmost. Bring the hostage below the battlements. Oh, interesting. Anusha as a negotiator. <laughs> Is he going to bring his mace? <laughs> Crack. Here, uh, t here, here, Eric, hold out your hand. <laughs> Sir Istvan! What is it? Did our neighborly visit catch you unprepared? A little, but we've settled in nicely. And this fellow is enjoying our company so much, we simply can't get rid of him. Oh, look at it that. It seems we are in similar situations. Perhaps it's time to send our respective guests home. Not a chance. Do you take me for a fucking fool? Be warned. If anything happens to Eric, I'll let every man jack here have his way with this bitch, and I'll dice Kobila into goulash meat. Nobly spoken, your grace. But for all I know, you may have done that already. Divish, I'm sorry.
Greetings, friends. Fear not, <laughs> Mortoff is treating us like royalty. <laughs> <laughs> They're unharmed, <laughs> as you can see. Do you see the smile? But don't try any tricks or they won't be for long, Hanush. <laughs> that was really good. <laughs> it seems your lord doesn't place any great value in you, boy. Go to hell. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. It looks like it's not going to be that easy. Well, at least we know they're alive. I didn't expect much of it anyway. He won't harm them as long as we have this fellow. That's a good point, actually. That's his insurance. Like, he doesn't want to give up. Oh. 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 Well, friends, what do you suggest? I'd say we have no choice but to attack. Hmm. It's a great risk, Robard, with Stephanie and Radzig inside. I know how you feel, sir, but Toth is no fool. They are his last safeguard. He will do nothing to harm them until he is sure of victory. Would you be saying that if it were your wife inside? Or your father? Well, let me point out that we have no choice anyway. We don't have enough supplies to keep men here for weeks, while gangs of brigands and Sigismund's army roam the countryside. Hmm. Toth won't agree to an exchange, and even if he did, we'd have to let him go. With all his men, he'd be a thorn in our sides till Judgment Day. Sir, a message has arrived. Oh, what is it? Margrave Jobst is approaching with his retinue and wants to speak with you. Uh... Jobst, you say? All right. Mm -hmm. What is he Who? doing here? Who's Jobst? Jobst of Luxembourg is cousin to King Wenceslaus and Sigismund. He's the Margrave of Moravia. Only a year ago, he was collaborating with Sigismund and the League of Lords. Oh. He betrayed King Wenceslas and his ally Prokop. Now, he's changed sides, appointed himself the leader of the rebellion against Sigismund, and wants to liberate Wenceslas. Whichever way the wind blows. Nevertheless, it seems the decision is made for us. We don't want Jobst camping with us in front of our own castle like a band of gypsies. Hmm. I'm afraid you're right, Hanush. All right. We'll let the men rest a while and then attack. Come to me when everything is ready. Oh, man. Okay. Quest completed. Family va Wait a minute. Where is everybody? <laughs> an oath is an oath. All right, let's take a look and see what this is. But oh, and uh, talk to Sir Divish once you're ready. All right, we'll we'll do that. And uh, is there anything else? That's it. Okay, let's see what we're dealing with here. An oath is an oath. The men are prepared. The trebuchet built, and Istvan refuses to surrender. Talmberg must be conquered by force. We're left with no option but to start bombarding Talmberg. Sir Divish will surely tell me more. All right, and then siege in general is uh, we've we've done a bunch of stuff, but with the help of uh, with the help of God, the counterattack on the trebuchet failed, and it's still standing. No one else can come to Istvan's assistance. I must talk to Sir Divish about what happens next. Okay, so they're kind of these two these two are kind of lining up then. All right, well, um, <laughs> to be honest with you, uh, there's a lot of waiting and stuff like that. I'm not exactly sure how long it's this is going to turn out to be, but I think this is a good natural spot to stop. So we're going to pause here and uh, pick up... Hey, what? Seriously, Bo? Oh, oh, oh. There you are. And oh, and also, I need to have a little bit of a wash because I'm feeling very... I was looking very dirty and disgusting when I was standing next to those very shiny people. So I felt really bad. All right. Thank you very much, everyone. Until next time, you all have yourselves a great day. Bye-bye. <laughs>